Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here. And today I thought I'd talk about social media overload. Uh, I was I was looking on Google today to see what the top social media apps and sites are. And, you know, I also always periodically check to see if there's anything that's going to replace Facebook. Facebook is still the top. No matter how much bad press they get, they, they have over 2 billion users. The next behind that is YouTube with a couple hundred thousand less than that, which is, you know, it's either neck and neck at 2 billion, 100,000 isn't that much, you know what I'm saying? They're close. And uh, that's a lot of accounts. And, and I kind of wonder on Facebook, a lot of those must not be active. I can't imagine them all being active. I think a lot of people sign up to Facebook and never use it. YouTube's another deal, though, because YouTube has a lot of uh, useful content, and a lot of people watch YouTube instead of uh, cable TV or or uh, um, other forms of entertainment. So they, they use it as entertainment and education. So that makes a lot of sense to me. The thing that I've, I've noticed, though, is I'm looking at these articles, and one of them said the top 15 uh, social media apps you should know about for 2020, and then another one said the top 65 that you should know about. 65? I don't have enough time to learn about 65 of anything. Nonetheless, social media apps, nonetheless, sign up to 65, nonetheless, nonetheless monitor 65 different ones and post to 65 different ones. That There's just enough time in the day to post to that many things, to read that many things, or to read that many different sites. So that's a lot, and that's a lot of overload. And I think one of the reasons we have the problem with all of this overload is the way social media makes money is they make it money through advertisements and your information and selling your information or using your information to uh, target uh, ads to you. So they don't charge you for the service. And if you think about it, which one of those sites, social media sites that you've signed up for, would you have signed up for? if you had to pay for it. Uh, you would think more carefully and you, they would have to actually really offer you a service as opposed to some of them uh, don't really offer you that much. So, uh, I mean, for example, Instagram. I like Instagram, but would you sit there posting and looking at Instagram if you had to pay $20 a month for it? I don't think so. You'd find something else to do. Uh, so, by not charging for it, they get more subscribers, but also they overload us because as the uh, the uh, bar to get into the uh, uh, social media app business is a lot lower if you're not charging anything for it or if you're using advertising to pay for it. Uh, of course, you would think a lot more of them would fail a lot faster, but I guess there's a lot of venture capital out there. So... My question to you is, and to myself maybe, if you had to pay for every social media app that you use, which ones would you keep? And how much would you be wanting to pay for them? Uh, I think a lot of people might be wanting to pay $5 or a couple of dollars a month for, for some social media. But as you get up to $20, um, I think that's a point where you're saying, wow, if I'm paying $20 a month, I really should get some sort of service. And if I have a couple of different social media apps I'm using in there, all $20, I can't afford that after a while. I mean, how many can you afford? And so you're going to kind of cut off the social media there a bit. So that's a big consideration, how much the app would cost. And would you really pay for it uh, if you had to pay for it? Would you really keep it? I mean, why, why would you with a lot of this stuff? So I think we all have a lot of social media accounts that... We signed up for them. We don't really use that much or we don't use it all. And we may have, may use some of them a lot. So it's, it's that, that cost thing. And it's, it's like, it's, it's totally bad because first of all, you get overloaded with all this stuff. You're, you're trying to keep up with what social media you should be on, what social media you should be reading. You're signing up to all these accounts. You forget half of the accounts that you sign up for. I've, I've signed up for social media before. Uh, with something new, and then it's like, I, I kind of forget about it, then it becomes popular, then I go back to it and realize, oh, I already have an account there. 
So that's, um, that's a lot of overload there. Plus the fact they're collecting your information. You don't know what they're doing with it. They may be selling it. They may be using it to feed you different ads. And neither of those things are great. If they're selling it, you don't know who they're selling it to and what they're doing with it. So that becomes uh, more of a risk and more of an annoyance. But if they're just using it to serve up ads to you, uh, that might not be that good either. It's kind of like when you go into the grocery store and the candy section's right there when you're checking out and in magazines and different things that you really don't need and you really don't want, but they're there. And so they're trying to sell you the stuff constantly. So, so that's bad. The other thing is, is they're collecting information and uh, if they have security breach, you don't know where that information's going to either. So uh, there's a lot of negatives to social media. Um, of course, there's a lot of positives to it as well. But the fact that we're overloaded by it, that's really a concern. So, and that's what I'm gonna be thinking about. Which ones, uh, and it might be a good question for, for not only myself to ask myself, but you to ask yourself. If you, if you have social media accounts, or if you're gonna sign up for a new one, you might wanna to start to think, if I had to pay for this, would I sign up for it? And uh, if you start looking at it like if it was a paid service, like how much would you use it? Is it really worth it? Is there any value to it? Then it might keep you from signing up to some that you may never use anyway. And it might encourage you to get rid of some that you really don't use anymore, or you don't use much. I'm Mungo Dark Manor, and this has been Dark Manners. And whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.